Now I will explain the data flow manager. In engine code folder you will find a file called cpustreammanager.maxj. Open it. I will replace the content of this file. I need to point out that this is the simplest manager that can be made. In this video I will explain the basic concepts and maybe in some future videos I will go through more complex manager cases. Before the main function I always create a string variable that represents the kernel name we are connecting to. This is the standard way to create a manager. Here I create the maxilla kernel. I call the method make kernel parameters on the manager instance with the kernel name we created before as the first parameter. Connect the manager and the kernel. Connect all the streams from the CPU. This line is necessary but I will skip the explanation in this tutorial. In the end we have to build the manager with all the settings we defined earlier.